loot, craft, kill, repeat. I love this. Welcome to NFT Alpha, the channel that brings you the wildest NFT sales, epic upcoming mints, and mind-blowing NFT news, and picked by me, Akko. Give us a follow on X at NFT Alpha Show, and if you're watching this on YouTube, we appreciate that, and uh, you know, hit that follow button or subscribe button at NFT Alpha. And you know, while you're at it, follow this guy, Taco, at crypto underscore taco zero one. Okay, so we're going to stay on X for now, and we're on the Board Ape Yacht Club official X account. Loot, craft, kill, repeat. Check out the Heavy Metal Forge crafting explainer video with all you need to know on crafting augments for stats and crafting infusions for your heavy metal. Let's watch this video inside a video. Now that you've ventured through the rift and collected some valuable materials, it's time to get crafting so you can upgrade your heavy to become more powerful than ever. You'll notice a couple new tabs at the bottom of the screen. In the crafting tab, you'll be able to take the materials you've gathered from your expeditions and create different items. Let's start off by crafting an augment, which are equipable items that will improve the core stats of your heavy and help them succeed in more difficult future expeditions. After clicking craft, you will see what augments are available to be crafted based on the materials you've gathered. Looks like we have the ingredients needed to craft a vac coil. Once you click through, you will see the available molds you have to choose from. So select it, click use, and you will be able to choose from your available materials in your inventory. You will need to add three total materials to the crafting process. Once you do, you'll be able to see the different statistics and potential results of this craft. Each combination of ingredients will result in different potential crafting results. Try selecting different materials to see what changes. Once it's finished, your crafted augment will either succeed or fail. If it succeeds, you'll be able to add it to your inventory. If it fails, you will lose the items and materials you What, you can fail? However, this won't always be the case. Whenever you successfully craft an item, you will be given an option to add a bonus for that item. If you add the bonus, it will appear in the bonuses tab next to your crafting threads. Ooh, successfully crafting items points. will allow you to increase the level of that bonus, which grants you helpful things like the opportunity to recover a mold from a failed crafting thread and build time reduction. Check out the new vac coil we just crafted. Now you can equip it to your heavy. You can see your heavy's current statistics on the bottom left of the screen. As you progress and find higher level materials and molds, the items you equip will get stronger and stronger, increasing your stats by more and providing special power-ups to maximize your time on an expedition. Augments aren't the only thing you can craft. To open the valuable chests you've gathered on your expeditions, you'll need to craft a matching rarity key to open it and find out what's inside. The process to craft a key follows the same steps as the augment we just created. You also have the ability to refine your pre-existing crafted and found objects. Once you've got the right rarity key to match, click the button top right to view your available chests and open away. Loot chests can contain a variety of components, materials, or even fully crafted equipment. That just about covers the basics of crafting, but keep exploring the menus to see what else is available. Keep upgrading your heavy, mastering the rift, and conquering the expeditions. You'll need everything it takes to prepare for the raid boss that is lurking deep in the rift. Come season 6, you'll need the strongest heavy you can create to take it down. So get out there and explore, gather, fight, and craft your way to the baddest heavy in town. What I love about this is they're making videos now instead of just making like a, a tweet thread with 15 tweets long explaining all of that, what the video just explained. It's a lot. It's a lot. But that's with any new game. With any new game, you're going to have to learn the ins and outs, uh, how to play, how to maximize your time. And in this case, you get to win ApeCoin. Once the rift opens, it was supposed to open yesterday, but it's all right. We forgive you, Yuga. You can uh, make sure that everything is working seamlessly, that when you guys do release it, it's working great and uh, people don't have a problem because what people like to do more than anything is FUD and complain. All right, so staying on the theme of Yuga Labs and the Board Ape Yacht Club ecosystem, we have the other side meta. So this was about an hour ago from the recording time. So it's about 1130 on a Friday. So just like brand new information, everybody. I haven't even read it yet because it literally just came out. The quest to return the Oda. The hell's an Oda? We have Codas, we have Maras, we have Coda Maras, and now we have Odas. Oda, Coda, Mara, Coda. Right, let's just keep reading. So the quest to return the Oda to other side will unfold over the course of its season. As they learn how to farm and fend for themselves, Oda will acquire new skills and set out on adventures to explore the wild. But first, you'll need to train them to contend with the dangerous path ahead. This is a nice little uh, art piece they made. Critique. Cool. That was one out of four. Here's two out of four. Every legend starts somewhere. This one starts at your camp. 
In Legends of the Mara, your camp is where you'll farm fragments, house your loot, and form the team that'll defend your land. Hey guys, I have a land. Who wants to be on my team? I'm taking applications. Each season, a new limited supply of fragments will be ready to harvest. Harvest them quickly. They won't be there forever. Okay, so we're getting a little bit more of the sense of urgency when it comes to playing this game. Every season, they're going to have a specific amount of fragments, it sounds like, that you know, all the other players are going to be trying to harvest. You can combine fragments with a seasonal catalyst to transform a Mara into a Kodamara or save them up. They'll be useful in future phases of the game, but proceed carefully. The full potential of these fragments is still unknown. Okay, so now they're opening up a little bit of decision making. You can either right off the bat, turn your fragments from a Mara into a Kodamara, or you can save them up for future seasons, it sounds like. All right, so here's another graphic. This one has some words on it. Your camp is your armory, where you form your team in preparation to hunt and farm. Fragments and the loot that you acquire by farming and hunting are deposited here. If you sell your deed, these fragments come as part of the deed. Man, I love this. Okay, so same thing with the heavy metals. If like as soon as you got the heavy metal, your land was bare. You had nothing on it. But over the last, what is it, like month or two, uh, I've been building on my land. And what I could do now is sell it for a higher price than just the bare bones, non-played heavy metals. Because because those have nothing on their land. This is kind of the same thing. The more you play, the more you collect fragments and farm and hunt, the more the more scarce your land is because, you know, you played on it. People that have not played, they got the starter pack. You want to get the, the majestic pack after you, uh, you know, you farm and you get all these fragments and you turn them into Odomaros from your Mara. The game is going to be epic. Same, same ecosystem, two different games, two different types of play style. Yuga Labs is killing it. That's all I could say. I mean, they are far out in front of every other NFT collection when it comes to developing these games, when it comes to hiring a, um, a team of experts in this field, to make the game a AAA quality. All right, let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. Sediments stream from the core of other side. Every season, a new limited supply of fragments may be harvested. Once all the fragments have been harvested, the core will remain depleted until the next season. Fragments can be blended with a catalyst during the ritual in which a Mara transforms into a Kodamara. The Oda have yet to discover all of the potential benefits of these fragments. Let's go to the third one now. Oda moving in packs are more effective at killing than a lone Oda. The more hunters you have, the faster you can take down shattered. To maximize your damage output, layer and time your special skills and buffs. With each new season, Oda will acquire new skills and be able to execute more complex combos. So this is going to be like a, a PvP or a PvC player versus computer. Oh, yeah. Koda are the most effective hunters, and a Koda's ability to inflict damage in battle is even greater if it has a weapon. Okay, so we've talked about Koda's on this channel. Ready? Ready? I could just hit one button and it could bring me, well, two buttons. Two buttons and it'll bring me to the Koda's. I'm a magician, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so obviously, these are the codas, and you see down here, there's 154 with weapons, or is there 154 types of weapons? Yeah, that's what it is. There's a hot Christmas tree. That's a lot of different types of weapons. Uh, let's, let's look at one, for example. The Brimstone Blade. There's only nine in existence. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty sick. Okay, so according to this tweet, they're more effective and they're better at fighting if they have a weapon. Who would have thought? So what this tells me is that community members have been speculating on these codas for a long time, ever since the other deeds minted two years ago, a year ago, a year and a half ago, a long time ago. So they've been speculating what these are, what they're going to do. There's only 10,000 of them, and there's what are called considered mega codas because they have like all the bells and whistles. They're the most rarest. They got a weapon. They've got like a jetpack, and they've got like, Let's just look at one. Let's see if I can find a Mega Coda. Um, Mega. All right, so the holy crap. So these are all the Mega Codas. These are like the rarest of 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 the Codas. Let's see if I can find my favorite. I like this one. It's cute. All right, all right. Let's keep going. We got one more to go. Enchanters boost the skills of all the Oda assigned to their other deed camp simultaneously. So enchanters can neither fight nor farm, but the more than you have, the faster your farmers will harvest and the better your hunters will fight. Enchanters provide a great advantage to any team. Enchanters need to remain rooted to the camp for their buffs to be active. The Koda and Kodamaras assigned to enchant and not participate in farming or hunting. So if we go to the vessels, these are eventually going to turn into those Maras and the Kodamaras, but as you can see, there are enchanters, farmers, and hunters. So it looks like the enchanters 
hunters only stay on your land and they can help out your farmers and your hunters. We're learning as we go, ladies and gentlemen. Check out my last video where I cover more about Other Side Meta and how its beta is coming out this September. I'm going to end it on that, but I did have one more for you guys. I'll just show it to you. I haven't done a deep dive. I simply scrolled through and I saw a few people talking about this project. It looks like it's minting today. I have seen it's about 50% sold out as of about two hours ago, three hours ago at this point. So that by the time this video airs in about eight hours, maybe all of these will be minted. Maybe 75% of them will be minted. But regardless, as of three hours ago, there are 13 one of ones still up for grabs. And obviously one of one NFTs sell for more than just a normal floor ft but yeah if you're interested in house of titans i will be honest looking at the website i don't like it at all i mean this this piece of art is cool i have nothing to click on so i gotta scroll down okay so i mean they've got their instagram their x account their discord you can log in by using your twitter your discord or a nami wallet which i'm assuming will be your way to mint this um but yeah also it looks like they're gonna have some like white market cap type of diamond gems that you can collect daily okay cool and uh if you want to learn more you can go down the rabbit hole or read the white paper which i'm not going to do in this video because it's already been super long and that's all i got be blessed i go out